Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Adobe Live. It's 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we're here for day two with uh, art director, illustrator, uh, Maria Triquel from Spain. Hi, Hi Maria. Hi. Um, very excited. We're going to be doing uh, drawing and painting with uh, our vegetable characters that you had created yesterday, and yeah. super excited for that. Just want to do a quick shout out to chat. Uh, looks like we've got Wade and Sam helping out today. Maybe, I don't know. One of them is moderating the chat here and getting us to answer your questions and answer your questions as well. They can they can answer them for you. But um, yeah, super excited. Um, if you guys are on YouTube, come on over to Behance.net slash Adobe Live. Uh, yeah, we can hang out here. You guys can ask us questions. And so, yeah. Uh, Maria, do you want to just kind of really quick again, just kind of Tell us where you're from and what you do. You don't have to show us yeah. your art, but then and then just take us through a uh, part two of what we're going to do today. Okay, so again, my name is Maria Triquel. Um, I'm a freelance illustrator and art director from Spain. And um, yeah, I'm after living a few years in Barcelona. Now I'm currently based in Figueres, a city in the north of Catalonia. And I live here with my partner and my three cats. So maybe you can see one of them <laughs> today. Yeah, I think we talked about we're gonna we're gonna see the yeah. cats today, folks. Yeah, um, they are here in my side. So <laughs> at the let's end, see them. Come on, let, no, let's do yeah? it. No, let's right go. Yeah, let's see some cats. Yeah, people okay. people stick around for the, they want to see some cats. Yeah. So <laughs> this, these are my cats. Are sleeping. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> All right, my and now if you guys. Yeah, if you want to see them again, you have to stick around to the end. Yeah, That's... yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I'm sleeping right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really quick, I completely forgot. Um, guys, we have a new week of uh, Photoshop Daily Creative Challenges with Paul Tranny. So it's every weekday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, don't miss out on the new set of challenges. Forgot to mention that. So continue. <laughs> Sorry, Maria. Again, <laughs> don't worry. Um, after my cat <laughs> interruption. <laughs> So I specialize in children illustration and character design. And if you want to see some of my work, you can find me here in my Instagram and you can see my work, my Inktober of this year, my last projects, portraits, some of my sketchbook. And, and a lot and it's of really cool because a lot of your work you know, you, you published or it's out there, you know, yeah. on raw materials is not just in the digital scape. So yeah, it's, it's really cool to see it out there. It's it's beautiful work. Yeah, um, my work yeah. process and the other stuff, more informal stuff. Right. Um, if you want to see my formal work, <laughs> you you can find me on my website and I can show you, I will show you la, um, some projects different from yesterday. Okay. Um, here I did uh, coloring pages to illustrate during the confinement quarantine here in Spain for Olympus. Mm -hmm. Some pages to color. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a touch, a touch coloring on like the iPad or you can print it out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's cool. Yeah these ones and um, for example yeah, I, sorry i participated in something similar during yeah? quarantine yeah 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 it's a uh, color in place and we did the same thing did coloring books for kids so yeah it's yeah, very fun, funny yeah. for the, yeah yeah and this one is my last 36 days of type challenge on instagram and here i combine the letters with the professions Nice. Um, each letter is a profession and in a future I would like to publish these illustrations 
um, mm-hmm. for uh, children books to learn and to show them the, all the professions in a funny way. Are you doing uh, the motion graphics as well or is somebody helping you out with those? Um, no, this one is, is a little easy GIF. Right, yeah. but you're, you're, you're doing those, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. really cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a good little yeah, accent it's, on it's, the work. Yeah, a little bit movement is always fun to mm-hmm. give a, a different perspective. Um, this last one, um, it looks um, very similar that I want we are going today. Right. Because this is kind of what we're aiming for with the pattern and collaging the different characters yeah. together. Okay. Yeah, because today I, I'm going to finish the, the, the sketches that we made mm-hmm. yesterday. And we, I'm going to combine and mix all of them with a final pattern to apply uh, in a mock-up. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So that's all. Yeah, let's yeah, let's check out let's, let's uh, <laughs> check out the 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 artboard here, see where we're at. Um, did you do anything in between yesterday and today, or are we starting off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah, yeah, we'd love to see it. Yeah, because um, here are the sketches that we finished yesterday, and um, mm-hmm. I have retouched and advanced and organized a little bit the color palette here. Mm-hmm. So this is the final color palette that we I use today. Okay. And, and I want to show you because I I did a I did the final result that I want to get today. Okay. So um, this is advanced the sketch for for the pattern. This is gotcha. it. Gotcha. Cool. Very cool. With okay. all the vegetables, with the colors, with the final colors, with the final positions that I want right. to, to, to get. Right. And I advance, um, I advance the final illustrations, two of them. Okay, cool. This little acorn. <laughs> <So cute. laughs> oh. oh, yes, I'm yeah. here. Oh, hi everybody! <laughs> um, Very I, cool. So you're going to be finishing the the other ones. Yeah, because I I wanted to show you the final result. Definitely. Like um, with the textures, with the Get final colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. No, this is great. So yeah, this one I we have. You have these two characters final mm-hmm. characters and now we can start with the other ones awesome okay awesome yeah no that's great it's a good starting point yeah yeah, yeah because I, I thought that is yeah it was the uh, feel less less stressed out now yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it, it's a kind of organization for me because yeah, yeah i want to do this um i have my color sketch and I have my, my final composition sketch, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Um, it's easy. To work. Yeah, you can have a little more fun today, and you don't have to. Yeah, yeah. a little yeah. less thinking. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, we can continue, for example, with 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 the uh, pepper. For example, I put the. Um, the sketch here. I'm adapting the size. So are you finishing all of your characters in one separate file? And then are you yeah. going to be bringing them into your pattern file? Is that kind of? Yeah. OK. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's more comfortable for me working mm-hmm. separate uh, artworks. Right. And yeah. here, um, if, I, if I quit these one layers here i have gotcha. the final one and gotcha okay. okay very cool okay. yep okay so let's go with the pepper i create a group i think there's a cute overload 
the, the chat is <laughs> <I'm> just like, <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Just wait. Just wait till you see all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So I pick the red. Um, I like to use this brush, mm -hmm. rough inking tool. Um, okay. Uh, and that's also a Kyle, Kyle Webster brush, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. love these ones. Okay, and this side. And do you, do you adjust the parameters or any of the settings or do you yeah. kind of use it deep? You do. Yeah, yeah, I do because um, this one is 35 and right. I need a little bit of space here to do, okay. to, to get this kind of, because it has, if I have, if I brush, if I paint with this brush, this, mm -hmm. I don't have the texture of the line. Right, right. So I need, I need more. Mm -hmm. Like maybe 50. Yeah, you know? Yeah, I get a little see bit of the, edge. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So... We can start to draw with this. Ah, okay. So this is the sketch layer, this one. So this is the brush you're using to fill in the shapes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and now it's just, it's just draw and, mm -hmm. and follow the line. Um, It's like, I don't try to, to get a perfect form. Right. It's like, mm, I like the regular forms it, are more organic, are more like yeah, and it's almost, analogical. It's more, more playful too, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now I'm refill. This little contour here. Right, the little pixels meet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, because um, if someone <laughs> knows how can I do I agree. I'm also in Please the same boat. Please tell like, me. And there's different <laughs> ways to like fill it in, but the way that you're doing it, because you want that brush texture. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it's really annoying because the just the way that the because even yeah. if you adjust the um, the tolerance levels and the feathering, yeah, I tried, but it. no, no, yeah. it doesn't work. And somebody might I, know. Yeah, chat, maybe. Chat. I do hope you so. Know. Please. Do you know how to do me. the perfect fill-in where you don't have to go back over it? Please yeah. tell us. <laughs> please, please, because I always ask the same thing to my colleagues and to my, oh, if I met uh, an illustrator. I, I ask the same always. <laughs> you like, know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please no tell idea. me. Yeah. Okay. Now we get we have the basic form here, mm -hmm. and we can start with the face. And you're separating all these colors as well. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of makes because it easier to not, you don't have to interrupt that shape or change it again. It's kind of, yeah. it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Now here I have the, the base, the body form here, the, I don't know, the point, the, mm -hmm. the tail of the, <laughs> of yeah. the, uh, the character. The, ste uh, the, the stem. The stem. Yeah. Yeah. The stem. Yeah. And here I'm going to do the face. With a yeah, little guy. green nose. Little green nose. Yeah. And the cheeks in a different. Yeah, in a different. And here I'm going to change the brush okay. because I like the pastel brush to do this, um, this effect. Mm -hmm. so it's like, I don't know if you can see. This, oh yeah, yeah, that no, looks great. It's like mm, more 
with more texture. More yeah, regular. more texture feels it's slightly more transparent. Can, yeah. yeah. So this is the base. Um, now we can do um, the shades or the textures with the same brush. Mm -hmm. We're going to start some here, here, without fear. It's like for fun, experiment. Right. Some... Yeah. Now, are you thinking about like a light source? Are you kind of just rounding off the shapes a little bit just to give it a little more depth? I mean, what's your kind of, how do you yeah. approach this with the line making for this, for the... Mm, with this kind of project, um, the light is very... Um, I use the light in a very personal way. It's right, not right. it's not realistic. So I yeah, can apply yeah. this this um, a little bit more um, shadows here because I, I think that fits in the character or right, right. It accents the shape. It, yeah, it makes yeah. it completely. Yeah, and now I I'm going to use this one, a new pastel because. The finish is different and um, gives that, me uh, another kind of another kind of finish here. Right, right. You know, it's like for like rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like. Well, it just yeah, t texture always kind of for the most part makes things more interesting. Hmm. So it's it's nice having that. Yeah, I like to combine these these three for the shape for the shadows and for the texture because this this one nice now see nice control mm -hmm. is like for only some touches. Oh, oh. So Wade, uh, our moderator, says that he he has there is a way to do the fill in, but it's it's a little complicated. <laughs> we, we want we want like one or two steps okay it says uh in this case select the interior shape expand by a few pixels and then create a layer under the outline then fill a desired color and then merge the layers down ah. but that's i feel like that's almost more work than just going back and outlining <laughs> just yeah. going back and doing it. but I, I will try in, a, in the next festival yeah can yeah 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 okay let's see Okay, uh, we can we can do a shadow here in the in the face contour. Yeah, and now mm -mm -mm, we can we can put some lights. This nice control brush. I like to apply. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I like to apply the um, the light here around the face, mm -hmm. and maybe we can, yeah, to add a touch of light, and we can we can do a light more. A point of light here, no, here, here, or here. And you're pulling from your swatches that you created from the palette that you had made yesterday, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This one. Yeah, we're all right there. Yeah, it's all right there. Okay, just so yeah, people know, so it's all already made, labeled, ready to go, easy to use. Yeah. You don't have to think too much about it. No, and as you can see, I I organize the the colors. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. From lighter to darker, mm -hmm. so it's easy to yeah. find the the color. Or if you work with the light version of red, 
you, you can see that the other ones are, are the rest. It, it, it's, it's super easy. Yeah, no, it looks good. Hmm. We can, and now we can apply some shade here in the nose with uh, this one. Or maybe. Just a quick reminder for um, everybody that's watching on YouTube, uh, come on over to b.net slash Adobe Live. And here you can ask us questions and we can answer mm -hmm. them. So yeah, come on over here. It's a lot more interesting because we can talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this is pretty pretty fun little project here. Um, yeah. Definitely get me in the mood. I've got to make some tea after this. <laughs> we get some treats. Yeah. Um, now I'm doing the same with the uh, with all of parts. Right, the same, same treatment upper. for each each section. Yeah, yeah. Maybe apply some of light here. Mm -hmm. and maybe some detail. Um, that's it. That's a pepper. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Yeah. It, it's like, um, if you, if you combine different brushes and, and tones and colors, you can, you can get, um, a rough and analogical looks for your character. Right. So, yeah. So now I I mixed I duplicate I can yeah I'm duplicating this these layers I mix okay. in one and this is the final one. Gotcha. So you just kind of created one flat layer for the final yeah paint uh, object uh, character. Yeah, and here I have the final one, and Perfect. here I have the um, rest of the of the sketch, eye of the parts. So yeah. So pepper, pepper, done. I know here this is the, so pepper done, acorn eggplant. Um, you can start now with maybe maybe the radish. Yeah, let's do radish. it. Yay! This is, it's the one we've all been waiting for. <laughs> so here it is, the radish. So, so, so I create the same. I create another group, radish. Radish. I put the sketch inside and yeah, I'm blocking this one and uh, down the opacity. Okay, we can start here with the same brush, the rough inking with a bigger size mm -hmm. in red again. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, Natalia um, said that you can always create an action in order to make the described coloring method quicker and easier. So mm -hmm. basically, I think in Photoshop, you can create like automated actions that you can set up so that when you do this, you can kind of activate that and it'll do the action for you. It seems like yeah. there's a, seems like there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Um, to yeah, do that so I don't remember the name that the person that gave me, gave me the advice about the feel. Uh, uh, Wade, uh, Wade. 
Are you talking about just recent, just now? Yeah, w- Wade. Are, are you talking about right now, oh, Wade? Wait. Yeah, Wade. Wait. Yeah, Wade Eckhoff. Okay. Yeah, he's he's uh, moderating the chat for us. Yeah. Okay. So um, we can try uh, in another. I I don't remember how. So he was saying uh, you could select the interior shape and uh, then expand shape. it. So you could magic wand, uh, okay. yeah, and then expand that selection by a few pixels. Okay. This one, so selection. Uh, uh, um. So I think you could just hit command. You could just go to your um, your move tool and you could just hit command T and it'll create um, a transformation box. Ah, okay, um, expand it. Oh yeah, you can do that way. Here, um, maybe two pixels. Yeah. Okay. Um, fill again, I guess. Hmm. <gasps> I think for the most part, you probably could do it that way too. If you pushed it out even more, he yeah. was saying as well as that you could select it and then do that on the, on the layer below it. So you create a layer under uh, it and expand it underneath, and then you combine the layers. Ah, okay, okay. So if I have this, select, um, expand it, three, maybe four or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, uh, and in another layer. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. There you Magic. go. Magic. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> and then combine the layers. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the other one here. Perfect. Mm, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Wade. Either way, thank you. <laughs> okay. Look at that. See, life changing experience here on Adobe yeah. Live. <laughs> happens every day. <laughs> okay. So let's follow with the leaves. There we go. If it's a small surface, I can I can paint. Yeah, I enjoy doing that too. Yeah, there's something like, fun about just yeah, yeah. scribbling in there. Some um, type of strange accomplishment. Hmm. Now I'm drawing a different different leaf with a different form to add some more details here. Well, I completely forgot this morning to start out with saying that we're also doing an artist spotlight today. Mm. Completely blew my mind. <laughs> um, completely forgot. So yeah, you guys, we're doing an artist spotlight today at around 11 o'clock. Um, please, if you guys have anybody that you want to recommend, or if you want to shout out yourself, um, we love to hype up artists on the Adobe live here and on Behance. So please stick around so we can, uh, we can do the artist spotlight. Yeah. Be awesome. Yeah, the other leaf. Okay, so the leaves are done. Yeah, maybe we can follow with the face. A little bit small. Yes. Mouth. And with this big mouth, way. Okay. So yeah, um, so yeah, Natalia was saying that basically what we did with that selection and then did the, the expand it out and then the fill in is that you can assign that, you can make that an action. Ah. in Photoshop. So the next, and then you can assign a, a, a key to that. So next mm. time you do it, you can 
make the selection and then press that key and it'll do the action. That's, uh, <laughs> I feel like that's like, like, it's it. hard for me. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's hard to, it's like, I don't think like that very often um, when painting, I guess. But um, yeah, it's good to know. Um, yeah, it's good to know. A lot of options to, to <laughs> you know, change change your workflow and make it better or faster. Yeah, because th this is the the these small things that makes your work mm, faster. Yeah, exactly. And if you're doing a lot of it, then it definitely mm. can change. Now the tongue. Um, with this brush. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes when I draw these kind of characters, um, my face is like, so if I, if I have to draw a smile face, I'm drawing like this. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh. If I have to to draw a sad face, I'm... <laughs> it's like I don't know Your face what's is happening. Reflecting, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm so sad. Yeah. So this is a happy face. Okay, the face, the tongue here. Um, we can follow with the. Uh, so now these yeah. are these headphones or or, or ear muffs to keep his ears. Ear away. muffs. Okay. Yeah, earmuffs. That's what I thought. Okay. The earmuffs in yellow. Mm. Again, I, I want a circle, but it's okay if it's not perfect. Well, and sometimes if you try to make something too perfect, it kind of kills the personality of the drawing or yeah. painting. It, you yeah, lose some of that exactly. energy. Yeah. yeah. Definitely yeah, been exactly. guilty of that. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> like, just put in all that work and I just made it worse. <laughs> yeah. No, because, because it, it, it's, if it's too perfect, it's like a vector finished. Um, yeah, I, it's, I, I it, don't like. It, I don't completely, like no, I, I totally know what you're talking about. It can it can work in some things, really clean edges and clean lines, but mm. um, especially if I think for uh, leaning towards more playful children's illustration, mm -hmm. it doesn't really do much. Yeah, sometimes if I if I want a a right line and a. If I, I, I can press the the shift key mm -hmm. and I I can I get this one this right. or this but I prefer to work you know in this way yeah irregular faces and irregular shapes and parts of the body. Mm. We can we can do a lot. maybe if I hmm. I don't know how we can finish this part. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this part. I think that the best will be erase that. Okay. Um, put this part maybe from here. Or maybe I can do the, the whole, the whole part around the head. I kind of, I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. How it the works that the, better. And closes like. that shape. Yeah, I, I like that kind of the way it defines the hair as well. Yeah. 
Or the yeah, disease. because it's the other way. Mm. Yeah, we can follow with that. Yeah. Okay, so this is the base again. Um, mm -hmm. Now we can start with the with the shadows and the textures. We're gonna start with the leaves. With with this one, this one to the the, um, the central part of the leaf. Mm -hmm. Um, I can check. Yeah, it's fine. And now, does that brush have a uh, does that have a taper on it? Does it kind of squeeze down as it goes, or is it a is it an equal thickness? Oh, it does have um, a taper on it. Okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, but uh, I I press um, in right. all the line and it's regular. But, right, making yeah. sure it kind of has you, an you equal can... thickness. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. You can do this. Yeah. So now I add some parts here. We can add some details to add a little pattern inside. Okay, um, I'm going to do the same with this leaf. So we got a, a question for you. Um, uh -huh. Do you use Illustrator at all for any of your projects? Are you mostly just Photoshop? No, um, sometimes it depends on the project. Right now okay. I'm working on a project um, with, uh, yeah, with Illustrator because I have to mm -hmm. do um, vector illustrator, vector illustrations mm -hmm. for another person on my team. An animator can do animate all these parts in a vector. Right, stuff. right. It's much yeah, easier to I, have it vectorized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I prefer Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I, I do as well. I mean, I've done I've done vector illustrations, and, but mm -hmm. the the process itself. And Photoshop feels a lot closer to traditional painting. Yeah. So it's that you know that's what I love doing. And so it, I remember the first time using a Bezier curve and try like using the pen tool, and I was like, I don't like this at all. I don't know. What, this is an art. Like, what's happening? And then you realize what are you the know, textures? It, yeah, and now obviously Illustrator is so expansive now, and they have the vector brushes, and you can you can kind of get that yeah. feeling a lot more than you used to. But I think I'm still recovering from the, <laughs> from yeah, the, it's the classes of just taking Illustrator and be like, oh, this process is brutal yeah. sometimes. Yeah, I prefer Photoshop for for illustrations because it's easier to do. Yeah, yeah, the texture, the the um, the freedom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's more fun for me. <laughs> That's true. Natalia was saying that uh, vectors have an advantage of auto layering. Like you know, once you create a new shape, it's going to be yeah. on a new layer. So yeah, Photoshop, you definitely have to be vigilant with what layer you are on. Yeah, you know, it's plenty yeah. of times where it's the yeah, worst part. <laughs> <laughs> like 10, 15 minutes, maybe longer than that. And you're like, oh, that's on the I wrong mean, layer. a wrong layer. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Great. Yeah. Um, someone was wondering, too, uh, do you use clipping masks at all? Instead of making the selection of the layer, do you ever do um, clipping masks on the layer instead? Yeah, sometimes. But for me, this is a, this is a quick way. I don't know why. Yeah. But, yeah, no, totally. I mean, sometimes clipping masks can get complicated or uh, not necessarily complicated, yeah. but it can, you don't always really need to. No, maybe in in a more complex illustrations. Com yeah. But yeah. here is like ah, another layer, another. Yeah. Um, 
this is pretty easy to manage with yeah. the way that you're illustrating this. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I am traumatized in McCorn. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's illustrator trauma for sure. For yeah. me. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of people that love the pen tool. I just, yeah, yeah. No, not my favorite. So here again, a lot, a little point of light mm -hmm. around the face and down um, opacity here. Yes. Um. Oh. Okay. And um, we can we can add uh, a shadow here around the face again. Um, and here, for example, in the face, if I have to add a minimum detail, like mm -hmm. the shadow in the nose, I work in the same layer because it's right. like mm, some just a touch so little, here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can merge these ones. Yeah, and here. For, uh, and here for the tongue, maybe a little bit here, and that's all. Little old guy. Yay! That one. Yeah. And, so, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. No. I was just going to remind everybody, if you're on YouTube, again, uh, okay. yeah, hop on over to uh, behance.net slash Adobe Live, where you guys can ask us questions and ask Maria questions, and come hang out and chat. Yay. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how are the cats here. doing? Are they are they doing okay? Are yeah. they silently judging you? <laughs> yeah. Are boring. <laughs> Two of them <laughs> are sleeping and the other one, Conito, my love. The other one is looking at me like, what are you doing? Yeah. In what language are you speaking? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I never thought about that. They're probably like, I don't understand anything. I don't understand you. Uh, they always give me company here during my mm -hmm. my daily routines. Are nice. Yeah, it's nice. Nice having animals around. Hmm. Yeah, okay. next time you'll have to have a uh, another camera like inside of your window just <laughs> on your cats the entire time. <laughs> yeah. That's how we're going to that's how we're going to get the viewership up just cat you know, streaming. like I'm there for the cat cam. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe time she's on. It's connect with cats. them. <laughs> Thanks, Wade. Yeah, good advice. Good <laughs> like now i'm licking my feet <laughs> it's they make it seem like it's the most enjoyable thing they've ever done. <laughs> yeah i'm sure someone has done uh, some type of skit or humorous sketch of uh you know, humans oh, pretending to be cats. Uh, <laughs> you can yeah. imagine them out in public just licking their feet, cleaning <laughs> themselves. <laughs> like, yeah, it's normal. Yeah, the cat stuff. Mm. 
And here for the other ear. It's nice because it's not, there's not much and the contrast isn't a lot, but it adds no. so much. Just that no, little it's bit. Simply, simply some some shade, some points of light. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe we can add. Yeah, and you're working add on, some... you're working on the color that's going to be the background color for your pattern, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So having that yeah, as yeah. a reference is great also. Um, yeah, because you yeah, really I see, see how those colors are going to sit on there. Yeah, because in some projects, sometimes I worked in with a white background, mm -hmm. and at the end, it's like, oh, the the colors um, doesn't work here. Right, right. With with the 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 background that I want to 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 put in the final illustration, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, when I when I did the pattern of sketch, this one, I tried uh, this brown a little bit red. I tried uh, another one that I erased, it. but this one I like. I like this one because this one is mm, a little bit red. It's almost washed out. It's almost and it's almost too washed out. Like it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't pop mm. the colors enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so i think that is important to work with the final background that you want mm -hmm. so yeah. this is important um do this part of the sketch color at the beginning right. yeah which to, to mean, have clear yeah it's like the color composition you're seeing yeah. how they all the color works together in the final yeah yeah pretty important mm. All right, uh, Stephen Booth has uh, chimed in and um, he's telling us about the <laughs> Mercurial Forte and the Cat Pilot Cam every Saturday. I don't even know what that means, but I'm going to have to Google this now. I don't know if it's a joke. But <laughs> pilot Cam. Pilot Cap Cam. Cat Pilot Cam every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking it up now. Okay, I think, oh no, let me put some shells here under the legs. If you guys are just joining us, we are here with Maria Triquel. She's from mm -hmm. Spain. She is painting some beautiful vegetables for us on our painting and drawing day. This is part two, and we're working towards a beautiful autumn design and pattern with our little vegetable people. So very Yay. excited. Yeah, stick around. You might see some cats. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to see? Let's see some cat. We got to keep them here. We got to yeah. see some cats. As, as someone said earlier, Our we need way. to see the cat tags. Hello. <laughs> Look at those guys. Is he clear? Is one of them, are they all girls, boys? Our what boys. The three of them. Like, Hello. All hanging out. Hi. Not a bad life. Not a bad life. Easy life. Yeah. If you have a good house, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. If you have a good family, it's a perfect life, but... My three cats are adopted from the They're street, all... so nice, perfect. That's where I, my old cat. That's we found, yeah. found him in a, a planter. <laughs> it's like a little feral cat from oh. the forest. Yeah, from the yeah, forest. He was, oh. Yeah, he was a crazy, crazy little guy. He was up in the yeah. we found him near the mountains. Yeah, I found one of them in a parking. Parking, parking. Yeah, in a parking uh, with cars. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
in the middle of the parking, uh, under the sun, very, very ill and very, very small, two months. Mm, so geez. my my heart um, broken and I have to adopt yeah. him. <laughs> and yeah, well. now I have three cats. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the plan but no you're gonna have five or six probably in yeah. The next few years. <laughs> yeah i have a problem <laughs> with that. um so okay radish is done so we have radish pepper right. and, and eggplant and we can do this ah the slick see the slick Ah, the leek. I like the, the leek. leek the leek's. Uh, yeah, the leek. Did you add a, a unibrow to the leek? I think I see. Yeah. One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called an improvement, folks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that enhanced the character, made it 10 times better. Yeah, yeah. With unibrow. Unibrow? Yes, unibrow. Yeah. Un yeah, unibrow. Yeah. Yeah, unibrow. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the leak again, the group inside the sketch with the 50 opacity block. And we can start with a beige base and with the same brush again. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm doing the base they're always in in beige and later I can put the green over for the leaves. Gotcha. Yes. And just a reminder, guys, in about 40 minutes, we'll be doing the artist spotlight of the day. Mm -hmm. So please stick around for that. And if you guys want to be in it, if you want to nominate somebody to be in it for us to highlight, uh, look at the artwork, hype up, please say it in the chat. But uh, yeah, stick around for that. So it's always it's always fun. Oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting some action. Yeah. <laughs> Turned it up. Yeah, because maybe vlog. Maybe we'll just turn into like a cat highlight, you know, like we're just, you know, artists are great and all, but. We, we've all seen enough art. Let's just do the cat spotlights. <laughs> the cat spotlights. Maybe. Are you hungry? Send in your pictures of your cats. We'll yeah, show them on the please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you want to dress up your dog as a cat, that will be accepted. We yeah, won't. dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put some cat ears on them. I'm doing a little fit here. Okay. And now I'm going to do the scarf in orange. Yeah. There we go. So someone's just asking about the artist spotlight really quick. Uh, I think it's Janine Leonardi. Janine, I can't tell. But um, basically, uh, we have an artist that's nominated. And during the stream for about five to 10 minutes, we look at their Behance profile, check out some of the work that we really like, um, and talk about their work and talk about the artist. And hopefully you guys love the work and you guys can follow the artist. So 
basically what we do with the artist spotlight. So please, yeah, there's a tab above the chat. It says chat info and then artist spotlight. And you guys can fill out a form uh, to nominate either yourself or somebody else you know. Those tiny little eyes. Yay. Eyes. Yeah, let's go with the face. Skin, nose, head, nose. This was almost the angry leak, but we saved, yeah. saved it right mm. at the end. <laughs> oh, yes, this is it on on the brow, but <laughs> maybe, we, maybe, maybe it is fun. Hmm. That's pretty cute. Let's uh, let's let's see both. Let's maybe we have the option. We can kind of cycle through them. <laughs> I, like that. I like that too. Yeah. So we can go ahead with this. You know, we can ask the chat. We could yeah. even okay. do. Wade, I know you're there. We could even do a straw poll, which has now become my favorite thing to do, <laughs> where we ask the chat and they vote, and then we oh, choose okay. whatever they want to do. So, so we, we have the we have the here the option one. <laughs> I'll call it the Charlie Brown. I don't know if the little yeah whoop. yeah yeah and the other one the other one um. Sorry, Wade. I think I'm making you do the straw pulls every time. Every time <laughs> I host. No. It's like this. Okay. Yeah, a little bit down. Yeah, this one or this one. Here we go. Mm. That is the ultimate question. <laughs> what kind of leak? Is this? <laughs> yes, and if I chose a gender for the leak, I have no idea. It's a leak. It's a leak. <laughs> but, no gender. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, you know, I default it because I just <laughs> <laughs> reference myself. Yeah. So. Okay, we've got a Charlie Brown. Okay. All right, Charlie wait. Brown. We've got, well, that's just one. We got away. We got to see. We got to see what it Okay. Else. Let's vote. What's the difference between scallions and leeks? Hmm. Good question. I feel like scallions are more like onions. Scallions? Um, what is a scallix? Scallion? Um, a gallion. Uh, Scallion, yeah, it's like it's more onion? like an onion flavor, uh, like a sweet. Let's see, I'm sure, chat has all the answers. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I got it straight from Google. <laughs> Leeks are in the same onion species as scallions, but they have a different taste and size. They're bigger than scallions, and they also have a mild onion-like flavor. Leeks are never usually the main star of a dish, but there's so many ways you can prepare this vegetable, so it shines bright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, it's uh, semi-interchangeable with some plates and recipes. <laughs> Oh plant. yeah, I'm curious what the Spanish uh, word is for scallion. Um, leek, leek is puerro. Okay, I can't roll my R's, but uh, that's a good one. <laughs> but puerro. Yeah. But I don't know the other one. Maybe cebolla tierna is the name. So, uh, mm -hmm. Say it again. Cebollino? Cebolla tierna. Okay. Onion this is one. cebolla, but the kind of onion, I, I I think that is cebolla tierna. I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a, um, yeah, based, the, you know, Google translate like, says uh, cebollino. Ah, so ce like, ah, okay, cebollino. Ah, okay, okay. okay. So maybe, yeah. It's like a chive or a scallion. In yeah. English. Scallion. Cebollino. 
Oh, we got the straw poll going here. Let's see. Let's see the results. What do we got? <laughs> what do we got? Okay, right now the Charlie Brown. I think ah, is the dominant. Brown. It's got it's got nine votes over the yeah. the three the three votes. <laughs> you know, so let's the, peop- put the, Charlie- the people have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Charlie funny. Brown fail. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's fun. Funny. I like it. It's cute. Yeah. It's quirky. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Love here. me some straw polls. Thank you, Wade. Always appreciate that. Mm. Okay. So um, also if you guys are on YouTube, you can't participate in the straw poll. So come on over to <laughs> b.net slash adobe live where you're going to take tons of straw polls that's all we do here we stare at cats vote on things and uh stare at cute vegetables yay i like i like how you lay down the base so that it shines through as you do the green texture over it yeah yeah i like it yeah yeah and now we can you can put some some shade here to do the transition a bit, a bit more. Oh. Then we've got some. Uh... Do you know do you know what a dad joke is? Maria? The dad joke. A dad joke? It's kind of like no. it's just like a silly, clean joke that's uh-huh. So yeah, we got uh, Spencer Griffin's chiming in and says, Is your tablet waterproof? Because there's a leak on your screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Spencer. <laughs> uh no, my tablet is not waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So let's see what happens. They should make them waterproof, definitely. Oh. My uh my wife <laughs> uh completely destroyed her laptop about a month ago <laughs> spilling coffee all over it. Oh. I was just like, okay. Yeah. Those unexpected expenses. Yeah. Yeah, with my cats, I always try to keep away from my laptop the tea, the water of yeah. my breakfast oh mm-hmm. oh yeah cats just yeah just impredictable <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah when they are boring it's like maria come on mm, yeah give me Pay give me attention me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah hmm. And as I'm taking my drink of water, I'm also reminded that save often while you guys work. It's always something good. I always forget to save my work. <laughs> save. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Save, save, save. I think, what is it? Uh, sip, stretch, save. I think there's there's a saying. Uh, yeah. But yeah, very important. Yeah, it feels like they should make all electronics waterproof. It should just be kind of like a standard. <laughs> so, yeah. Right just, now. Mm. Just, like if I'm spending a thousand dollars on it, <laughs> yeah. like it should be waterproof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But... Cintiqs, yeah. Gosh. I just got that I got a twenty-four inch. I don't know what size your Cintiq is that you're working on. Uh, um, my city is, is the small one, the, the 13. Thir- 13 inch. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I yeah, I worked on that one for about seven years. Mm. And then just upgraded to the 24 inch. It's uh. very strange. I love it. But it's so it's so weird because it's it takes up like almost your whole desk. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm always so nervous. I, I I'm like, oh. Yeah, but it feels right. It feels yeah. well uh, work with a lot of space, right? Because yeah. uh, sometimes I think that I need more space. 
here yeah. because the 13 one is is small it can but, be tough yeah especially if you're working on bigger projects like i i yeah. um i'm working on a graphic novel right now and so uh, being able to see my page and be close enough to you know be inking and getting yeah. details it's like on my 13 inch it's like i had to really zoom in hmm. and i kind of i couldn't I'd always have to zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. And now I can just draw directly on it and I can see the entire layout. And so things like oh, that nice. make it worth it. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's expensive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Definitely. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't buy it for seven years. I was like, I cannot do this. Yeah. But I think that it's a, it's a good investment. Right, yeah, if you are an illustrator, this is what you do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it's uh, your work. It are your tools, and it's a good investment. I think this one, my Cintiq, is from. I don't know. It's from a lot of years, maybe, yeah. maybe five, seven, maybe seven yeah but it's perfect yeah I, oh, I had a great great experience with them yeah we haven't really had any problems no. my 13 inch is pretty scratched up though I, uh. <laughs> like I, I draw too hard on it yeah Let's see. Spencer's asking, are the Cintiq and the Wacom One similar enough? Or should I splurge for the Cintiq? I've never used the Wacom One. I feel like that's a new the newer, um, less expensive version. But I would imagine it has to do with like fidelity, probably. I'm sure it's like um how many pressure points your pen has on the screen. Mm. Or I know the the Cintiq Pro that I got. Um, you can do it in 4K, which I know the other ones are all 1080p, which mm -hmm. is not that it's a not as high cool. of a resolution. There you go. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, if you're just so... joining us, we got yeah. Go ahead, Mario. Can you just tell us what we're doing right now and real quick recap for people joining us? Yeah, of course. Now I'm drawing a family of characters, a baggy family of vegetable characters. Yes. Um, to do a final composition like that, um, to to apply to a mock-up at the end. So awesome. now um, we have this one illustrate illustration. This one. Um, I'm drawing right now the leek. I did the radish, the pepper, the acorn, and eggplant. One, two, three, four, five. And we have, um, we have to do one, two, three. Mm. Three and the details. So let's go. Let's see, we've got about. We've got about 22 minutes until the artist spotlight. Okay. And then after that, usually we have anywhere from uh, like probably like 15 minutes afterwards. Um, just kind of finish 15. up. 15. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I can do a bit faster. Mm. Here, the shades of the face, um, the shadows here, again without fear, mm -hmm. um, yeah that's all. With this Charlie Brown face, right? That's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. This is why it's fun doing it live. Never, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going to change on the fly. It's great. Leak. So we have the leak. 
control save. And we can follow with the mushroom. This one, maybe, yeah, the little one. Um, Mohammed was asking, uh, how do you choose your colors to make kind of like a, a perfect match? I think also just saying like, how do you, how do you go about choosing your palette is, are you, have you just kind of been doing it so long that you kind of just feel it out or are you referencing something specifically as you choose those colors? Um, sometimes it's like an intuition. Right. Um, yeah, for this, for this project, I... I wanted obviously red, um, yellows, um, oranges, warm colors, mm -hmm. um, typical from autumn. Um, I like to combine the warm colors with some some different, some cold colors sometimes. In this, in that case, the purple and green, but in mm -hmm. a warm um, tone. Right. And. Um, it depends if it depends on the project because if I if I don't have any idea I can use maybe some pages like Adobe Color to search references or if I have to do I don't know technological um, illustration so mm -hmm. I can put this word in Adobe Color and uh, I see. I see the mm -hmm. references or I can do a research on Pinterest or I don't know um, of or or check other artists right. um, how can apply colors is I, I don't have a a strict method for the for choosing my color palette right, but in that right. case it's like mm, an intuition way yeah, and I think over time and through you know studying studying art, obviously you know you study color, hmm. working professionally, being around other people, kind of seeing how they choose colors. And um, I think, like you said, after a while, you can kind of make those decisions without having to think too hard. Um, yeah. And then obviously, if you get stuck or if it's something very specific, you do a little bit of research, and you can pull hmm. colors. Um, from those projects or yeah the things that you see even in uh in nature or around you is always a great place too i mean yeah um, yeah the nature the the cinema the tv yeah. shows are, mm -hmm. are great to 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 give some inspiration definitely i recently saw um a squid game um, oh yeah uh, the color is so great. Mm -hmm. um, the other one that I saw is Sex Education. And yes. All the characters, all the outfits are great to draw. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are fantastic. The the color in that TV show is is I love I love Sex Education. The yeah, art, I mean that's the, art direction the amount of, of that. the amount of time that goes into the lighting and mm. like you said, picking the right kind of colors um for for the show or for the movie it's yeah it's pretty awesome yeah okay the legs um let's go with the face with a yellow nose okay and the cheeks maybe darker sometimes um when i when i quit the the this liar sketch mm -hmm. i have to i have to adjust some parts because i think that doesn't work okay 
That's the beauty, the beauty of Photoshop. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with the shadows here. Dark in the in this top part. I know we were talking about this is your first time live streaming, right? Yeah. Um, so far, so good, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's strange. It's strange for me. Um, yeah, it... Talking while I'm drawing because mm -hmm. it's not it's not the yeah, I, not the get usual. The, get an appreciation for people that do it all the time, and it's it's not easy. Yeah. No, not at all. Um, and that being said, too, uh, Behance is hosting live streamers now, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I've I've done it a couple times, but um, there's a lot of great streamers on Behance as well that you guys can look up. But you can also do it yourself, and it's got a whole yeah. hosting system. You can download uh, third-party software. Uh, OBS is what I use. It's pretty cool, but. Yeah, it's something fun to do, and it's it's great that uh, Behance is now a platform for other artists um, to be streaming on, and people can kind of see what you're working on. So, who knows, Maria? Maybe in the future, this will be your go-to <laughs> <laughs> is live streaming. <laughs> like, yeah, no, no, no. my my brother <laughs> my brother said to me yesterday, "Oh, Maria, come on with a open your Twitch channel, right?" <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, no, no, please come on. Um, one step, one step, yeah, before. one step at a time. That's right. Okay, yes. Yeah, because it, this world is totally new for me. Completely. I feel like there's always something new, new platform. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't catch up anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. Sometimes I think that I have no time to to learn all the platforms and all the stuff that mm -hmm. that is, is in Spanish. We say is abrumador. I don't know the word in English. It's a lot of information, a lot of things around you. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, oh my god, uh, I, I don't. Yeah, it's I like have a time. information information yeah. overload. It's yeah, too much. Too much. Too much sometimes. Okay, yeah, I've got so... this little little mat flying around. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Get away. Yeah, we can do some details here. It's pretty cute. Um, this part, I have to do this. Okay, done. All right. This one was easy. Look at that. That was fast. Mushroom. One mushroom. We've got 12 minutes. Do... 12. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's like. And then you, oh. got, and then you got some minutes after that. But yeah. 12, yeah. <laughs> um, Till the artist spotlight. We got 12. Oh, now we're 11. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel a, a little bit pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, don't feel pressure. I mean, it's going to be awesome anyways, because maybe what we can do is uh, after the artist spotlight, we can put all the vegetables in that are done and kind of see a general, you know, we'll, you'll be pretty yeah. close. Yeah, we'll probably have some yeah. blueberries left over, some leaves yeah, maybe, here and there. But... Yeah, maybe we can, maybe we can repeat some of the characters to have a general general view mm -hmm. okay the legs with the big 
fish. These little mushrooms are easy because um, this one don't have any accessories or something like that. Yeah, accessories, yeah. Accessories. Yes, yeah, sorry. No, that's, you're fine. You're, <laughs> you're speaking like... a second language. Yeah, you <laughs> say it however you want. I'm always <laughs> thoroughly impressed with uh, anybody who can speak more than one language. So. Yeah, it, now, it's complicated he... because um, um, a lot of words in Spain and English are similar. Very similar, of... right? They're both romantic languages, you know, yeah. similar Latin roots. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes my head is opening boxes like, oh, what is the word? Oh, Tim. How are you? <laughs> What's his name, Tim? Tim. Tim? Tim. Come Hi, on. <laughs> Yeah, he wants to help me. <laughs> He's like, I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. So we can do. Now, is this mushroom going to ever grow any bigger or does he have those little legs for life? Yeah. <laughs> little legs. It's like, yeah. Shup. <laughs> yeah. His buddy's just like towering over him. Like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, little guy. Yeah, I'm like that. Yeah. It's enough. Mm. Face. We can add here. And for the legs. A quick shadow here. And light and in the other leg the same so here here to separate legs yep. um, making it look easy yeah <laughs> This is not... years, people, years of experience, hard work, yeah. <laughs> tons of professional, you know, projects, clients, oh, cats. Okay. Yeah, cats are out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Not anybody can make this mushroom. Okay. My <laughs> is doing something. <laughs> this is. Yeah. It takes me years to learn. Yeah. To learn to draw yeah. mushrooms like you that. You were impressed by the, you know, Renaissance period. <laughs> The painters, the masters, the sculptors. <laughs> uh, no, it's true, but it's true. It seems it seems so simple, and then everybody's like, "Oh, I can do that." But um, I think uh, you kind of forget that all these little choices that you're making, and color choices, and shapes, and the way that you simplify things, it takes a lot of practice. And it takes yeah. time to get it right yeah. and to make it look effortless. So, yeah, the end is practice. It's practice. Yes. If somebody asks me some how how I can improve my my art, my drawings, practice a lot, a lot every day. And yeah, with it every really is. it's practice. It's um yeah, make it make it an unhealthy habit for a very long time. Yeah. And then you will <laughs> yeah. you'll, you'll be all consumed by an obsession. <laughs> Yeah, and then you'll be good. You'll be sad, but you'll be good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's it, it's like anything. It's like any craft. It's just repetition, discipline, yeah. making sure that every time that you're doing it, you're putting in your best effort. You're trying to improve and you must be willing to fail because yeah. there will be a lot of failures in your drawing, yeah, your, of art, course. your art journey. You will fail often and you just have to make sure that you learn from it. And keep yeah. moving forward because it can be very demoralizing especially because there's just so many amazing artists out there but just got to make sure you're doing stuff that makes you happy and keep keep going yeah in a in a healthy way you can yeah. you can admire the the art of other people but uh, do your art do your thing and learn from others 
and that's all because if you start to comparing our job with others is it's a bad way to it puts you in a bad control. space oh yeah yeah i definitely i think a lot of artists it's like you go through that phase and i think it's hmm. you you start to compete with other people instead of yourself and you yeah it's like if you're not it's good to find happiness in other people's success and yeah to remind yourself of that because you want people to have that same happiness for you and your success so you yeah. kind of want to of reciprocate that feeling and um yeah it can be really hard sometimes but i think i think the better you get the easier that becomes hmm. because you're not so insecure about your own your own skills and but yeah and now with with all these references and information in instagram in behind it's, it's crazy yeah yeah it's it's like yeah okay it, it's it's perfect to to have this all this information but yeah it's a dark there are a dark side here oh yeah of course it, of course yeah and just the um even for the artists producing the content i mean it can feel yeah we've, i've talked about this before i'm sure so many people have just with social media and everything is uh it you know the pressure to produce content yeah a lot of as an pressure artist. there yeah it's like sometimes it's amazing because it pushes you to a new level and then other times it's completely crushing and <laughs> you're like i don't want to make anything for anybody like yeah. you know you can <laughs> you're just like i don't want to do that so i think you're right finding a healthy balance is yeah. really important because yeah. obviously we all love art but you can't make art 24 7. you gotta gotta diversify your life and your activities and hmm. you know it's be be social yeah. <laughs> occasionally have cats have cats go out um, yeah go out movies. do things yeah yeah go it's... hiking swimming yeah move move yeah um, we got about three minutes uh, until we do the artist spotlight, okay. which you guys can hop on chat. There's a tab right next to info above chat called artist spotlight. You can nominate somebody or yourself. Just fill out the form and might see somebody on the next time we do this. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty fun. And if you're on YouTube, hop on over to b.net slash Adobe live and hang out with us here and let us know what you think about these cute little vegetables in the chat. Yeah. So wait, well, hold on. These are blueberries, though. We've got yeah. fruit. Okay, they're not. Okay, guys, we got some fruit. Yeah, yeah. Accept the fruit here. We, yeah, we kind of we ignored the fruit. Okay, vegetables and fruit. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Light that color. Mm. Yeah, I think that it's work. Now is that is a blueberry on the right going? Oh, the other one go. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. You're a vegetable? No, I'm a fruit. <laughs> I have seeds inside me. <laughs> Don't eat me. Yep, Wade's right. We got about a minute. So Baby maybe we, day. maybe these are the last little guys we do and you can yeah. um, get the, uh... oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be pulling up the artist spotlight. Yeah, the last the last fifteen minutes, you said that we so, have yeah, fifteen gonna minutes. The, we'll later? do the artist spotlight for about five to ten minutes. So, and then after that, we'll probably have like another 10, 10 15 Perfect. minutes after that. Perfect. Okay. So, so that's all. That's all. Yes. The we can we can mix the the vegetables that we have here in this pattern and ah oh, the pumpkin. I don't have time to do the pumpkin, but it's okay. We we can mix the vegetables that we have, and later we can try the pattern. 
and the mock-up apply. Perfect. Okay. All right. And I think we're going to get ready here for the artist spotlight. Yes. Okay. I'm on. Okay, we've got Ignacio ah. Losa or Loza? Yes, Losa. Ah, from Argentina. Yes, from Buenos Aires. Um, so yeah, it looks like he is an art director and illustrator. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this work. Obviously, the first thing that caught my eye oh, was the, this one. Yeah. Yeah, Orang Wu Tang. Oh. <laughs> like a play on the orangutan, but Orang Wu Tang. So obviously uh, Wu-Tang is a big hip hop group uh, in America. So we've got the Wu-Tang symbol here. <laughs> it's, just, oh, it's a pretty it's good great. design choice. Yeah, it's like the upside down W. Uh -huh. um, I yeah, love the colors. Here. And you can see the, uh, the texture brushes being used are great. Yeah. And like you said, kind of having that, uh, those mm -hmm. rough edges as you paint yeah the, i the love silhouettes. this kind of finished yeah yeah this seems like it's right up your alley this is this nice little uh mark making right here on top of like these really big yeah big bold shapes yeah a great example of a great uh color palette yeah um, I love and actually it. really in line with the uh the autumn autumn yeah. palette that we're, <laughs> we're working on right now but yeah even a great way that the the text is uh, treated kind of with yeah, the dot and I love, below. Yeah, and I love the mix with the leaves in outline mm -hmm. style and the other one. It's a good yes. combination. Yeah, having this kind of, yeah, kind of separating those. Yeah, no, this is a beautiful piece. Yeah. All right, let's check out. See, do you want to pick the next one? Let's see. Um, the um, the monkey ones. Another monkey. These, this one right here, monkeys. Yeah. All right. These little guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, ah, like really it, simple and direct, right? I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But are so cute. Yeah, this is a nice little uh, yeah, sketch piece tails. right here. Mm. Yeah. No wonder it almost looks like. A, yeah, it looks like like reused elements, maybe too. Yeah, kind the, of like looking, yeah, like, the two faces creating. of the right yeah. are the same, I think. Yeah, it's kind of a yeah. cool way to do it that. Works. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. This one's just kind of funny. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the octopus uh, protecting its treasure <laughs> by yeah. pretending to be multiple sharks. Um, uh, are funny yeah yeah I, again i really like that and um the good use of the uh different texture brushes also to kind of um create space and depth uh mm. with the light tower in the back the lighthouse yeah it's a good one yeah i like it okay let's see what else we got Oh, the the cat one. The cat. Okay, this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we got our cat. Uh, Let's see if I can see if I can zoom in on that. Oh. Does that look like one of your cat? Is that Chim? <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yes, it looks like Chim. Very, yeah, maybe yeah, it's very cool. Cat. Yeah, the the the. The, the textures um, in front. It's almost of the, got like a figures. watercolor, almost like a watercolor yeah. vibe. Um, yeah, kind of laying out the colors and then going in with almost like a pencil. Yeah, and um, with the plate, the name of the cat is Cat. <laughs> yes. Keep it direct. Yeah. Gato. It's, it's great. And I, I love the geometrical form for the yes. back 
It's like yeah, it is kind of an interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I zoomed out right as you were talking about it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's funny. It works really well, but it's it's almost like how do you come to you know having that arched back, but it's it's almost comfortable and laying down. Um, yeah. yeah, it's really cool. It's like a rock. Yeah, that's kind of how they seem sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Let's get back to that. Okay, let's do a couple more here. This <laughs> this one's kind of crazy. <laughs> we'll go a little darker on the stream as well. Ooh. Robert McDonald's. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so oh obviously God. a fun imagination here. We got a, a burning McDonald's in the background. I like how he has um the uh socks the with the straps to make sure that his socks don't yeah. fall down, but he's got rain boots on. <laughs> ah, and with the French fries at the floor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's oh, very, it's, it's um, creepy. It's creepy. This is Ronald's, yeah, estranged brother <laughs> who has exacted revenge on yeah. the original McDonald's, I guess. The bad but, brother. <laughs> yeah. Beyond that, I mean, it's it's actually it's great with the uh, the way that he integrated uh, yeah. typography into this and in actual photo reference as well. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's almost like a, a wheat paste, you know, like mm -hmm. um, where you paste it on the wall. And it's actually really nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny, a happy that's a funny one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not, I mean he's satisfied with the job. Job all done. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. He rubber a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um this one I thought was also really nice. Um Ooh. just for I really like the color palette. Um Yeah. With this and, touch of yellow. Yes, here. it's really beautiful. The These test. shapes are really beautiful, the way that mm. they did the trees and the, the jungle. Um, let's see, really. Yeah, the combination sim simplistic, of simplistic, but great. yeah, exactly. It's and the even the that wing how it kind of swings mm. out. It's almost like piping. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, similar textures is kind of how you were using with this kind of like yeah. kind of open, yeah. almost almost pastel. Mm. Feel. Yeah, with this, with this touch. I love that. That final touch. All right. Uh, Maria, why don't you pick uh, one more for us? Mm, maybe the Frankenstein one. All right. Let's do that. Let's do a little post Halloween. Yeah. Frankenstein. Ah. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, that is pretty adorable. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Little added a little bit too much on top there. Yeah. <laughs> Another floor. Yeah. But great, you know, great example of, you know, using a big giant shape here to kind of define the figure, keeping it very simple. Um, it's yeah, really it nice. Perfect. Graphically, yeah, it's really great, especially on a nice big vertical piece there. Hmm. God, is that, oh, okay, I see what that is. And there's like a little, um, Almost like a mansion or something in the background. Oh, yeah. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, do yeah, monsters okay. trick or treat? Do they like candy? Yeah. <laughs> with this little finger, finger with squares. I, I love it. How many stomachs do you think he has? Probably a few, right? I mean, just in case he rejected one of them. <laughs> <probably> just... Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, the, he's got to have a ton of different organs <laughs> just in case a, a strange mix inside yes of yeah so mm -hmm. yeah nice very cool let's see all right cool well yeah awesome but uh, yeah ignacio yeah, very good amazing work, work. yeah very cool um all right well do you want to go ahead and uh start sharing your screen and we can get back to okay finishing up these little vegetables and fruit don't want to forget the fruit okay so let's do let's keep with the final are you sharing 
Yeah, I'm sharing okay. right now. All right. All right. Yes. Perfect. I'll stop sharing. Okay. Okay. So let's go with the final. I, I'm going to separate these little ones to have one in one layer and the other one in the other one. Okay. So we have these two. Um, I'm going to make the pattern right here in okay. the sketch. Um, let's do this with these little ones first. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe we can put the berries bigger for cover this space, this pumpkin what's the, space. Uh, what's the white cat's name? Um. Oh yeah, Flock. <laughs> Flock. Flock in Catalan in Catalonia is like flake because it's white. Okay. It's a yeah. snowflake. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> cats all day, baby. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're getting close. <laughs> He's supervising me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. uh, being micromanaged while um, working on a piece never, never fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm, is that red the right choice? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Why don't you draw a cat? Draw me, yeah. please. <laughs> You should draw better. You're better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can do, we can put this one here. Mm. Ah, the leak. Yes. Leak. Get our boy in there. All right, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown <laughs> leak. One here, here. Save. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to save. Don't forget to save. Don't forget the to important save. part. The reddish here. Hmm, maybe we can get a beer. Now I'm just, I have to just to transform and combine all the pieces. It's like a puzzle right now. Right, right. And pepper. Pepper smaller here. Okay. Um, the icon. Ah, I just have the icon here, but maybe, maybe it fits a little bigger here. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't have time to do the leaves and the details, so I can do the the characters a little bit more bigger. Um, right, right. And it's okay. Maybe this very, I can put this very here. Uh, the other one. Smaller here. Yes. Um, the eggplant is already here. So, okay. I have all the elements together. Mm -hmm. And now I can fill the spaces with a little details, like um, maybe like points or a little leaves. Very quick. 
It's a happy little family. Yay! <laughs> I'm nice. So maybe with this brush in another layer, I can do a quick details. Yeah, that'd be great. And like I was saying earlier, being able to do stuff like this, being able to mm. look at your composition and kind of improv, yeah. be, you know, do stuff on the fly and uh, have some improvisational skills. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really important. Um, yeah. And even with, you know, working with clients, they're going to say, yes, yes, yes. And then they'll get it and be like, well, so yeah, yes. Being ready yeah. to, to change a design, even though you thought it was perfect, um, really important. Yeah, this is a hard part. Mm -hmm. This one without time and with a lot of pressure. And yep. it's like, yeah, I, I have to do it. I have to do something. So. Maybe you'll just, this will be the failure. Pot, yeah. Know, just do, yeah, this is, you teach how to fail in this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Just fail with grace. Fail with, um, fall with a, with a style. Yeah. 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 Okay. We can we can draw a quick shadows to. Yeah. yeah, look at that. That's nice. To integrate all the parts super quick. Every time the radish pops on screen. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> Um, really quick again, uh, could you just remind us of the brushes you're using in this string? Yes, of course. Um, I usually use these brushes, the Kylty brushes, um, to draw the form, the base form. I used this one, Ultimate Rough Inking 2. Mm -hmm. um, and for the cheeks, this one, Ultimate Pastel. And for the textures in general, this new pastel, Trimedia, and this noise control. And yeah, mostly this one, two, three, and this one for the base. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's like you have to find your perfect brushes for you. Yeah, completely. Mm. And it can take a while, you know, a lot of practice yeah, yeah, yeah. I experimentation. Have, yeah, of course. I have these, me, my top favorites, but yeah, a lot. Maybe you can can work with another and yeah, it takes time to find your perfect brushes for every step of the mm -hmm. of the process. Okay. That's adorable. <laughs> so, um, what time we have until the end? So we got about five minutes left. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So, so with all of these, we I usually. If you guys have any any last minute questions as well for Maria, please ask now them or now. Never. In the chat. Yeah, if you're if you're over on YouTube, come over to Behance B.net slash Adobe Live. Chime in real quick. We've got only a few minutes left. Yeah, so now we have the whole composition here and a quick um, way to do a pattern is is this. Um, you have to go to um, um, edition in English motive and here i can put the name of my motive out um, 
characters. Mm -hmm. And in another file, bigger, maybe this one. Yeah, this one. I can apply this motif in another layer. Awesome. Um, I go, I go there, motif here, and I have my motif here Perfect. that I created. And mm -hmm. that's <gasps> all. Magic. Did just see that magic? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 And if you want to apply this pattern in a maybe in a tote bag mock-up for example um i have here my mock-up and this layer is for the image right um, we can put um i have to rasterize this one mm, no i think so I can do just this. Mm -hmm. I put my pattern here. Oh, sorry. I have to rasterize the layer. Ah, oh, no. Sorry. I have to rasterize the layer here. OK. I can put now this one here. I adjust the size, maybe here, yeah. control save, and here we have our mock-up. Magic again! <laughs> Magic again! How it Look happened. what you just did in two days. This is yeah. beautiful. Look yeah, okay, I hope okay. That... Now, do you have a store? When are you selling this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope so, because uh, right now I'm preparing products to to create my future online shop. So, you should, because obviously this stuff looks great out in the real world. Thank you. Um, yeah, can you thank just, you. yeah, if you could just kind of recap what we've done the last two days and just kind okay. of, yeah. Okay, so we started with uh, sketches creating mm -hmm. a family of characters or vegetables characters in uh, autumn garden and, fr and fruit and fruit and <laughs> one fruit <laughs> very fruit yes don't forget and then we made and we define our color palette um, mm -hmm. with an with a very autumn colors and Later today, we made the final illustrations in another um, in another file in a separate way, and we made all of them. Yay! <laughs> all of them in separate layers and separate groups. And then. We combine all these illustrations in a final pattern to apply in a mock-up in an easy very in an easy way, because um, there are a lot of free mock-ups online to share your work. If you right. if you don't uh, if, you, if you don't have a final product to take a picture, you you can use a mock-up and it's perfect to show your work. Yeah, no, it's, this is an amazing way to uh, display this in your portfolio um yeah. or to a client yeah mm -hmm. so learning learning how to mock up your work is pretty yeah. important i think especially in the illustration world and if you're doing products but yeah all right well i think that was That's pretty all. amazing you got to your goal you did it yeah i did <laughs> um thank you so much everybody for tuning thank in you. to day two with maria Trikel from spain thank you so much for being here um definitely just want to remind everybody stick around for the illustrative daily uh, creative challenge with Andrew Hocradle. Sorry, probably said it wrong yet. Immediately, <laughs> <thank you. laughs> uh, immediately followed by video editing with uh, Fabiola Lara. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Can't wait to do this again. And you did an amazing first job on your stream. Thank you, Chris. So, thank you, Chad. Thank you, Wade. Yes. All right, everybody. See you Bye. later. See thank you next you. time.